It's still December 7th, 2023. A little better. A little better. Okay. Still harassment, still crazies. Um, I started off with some stupid bitch showing up. Will said you could say anything. Uh, Will don't have that authority. Will already admitted he talked to the Vegas, the church people. I think he even said something shitty about Dave. And then he made fun of me for some guy being Pete stalking me and Dave hired Pete on his own. He was already taped and witnessed by the of Norton or Barberton police meeting with Dave at that church. And with the church people up there and telling on me. And with his own confession on a recorded line, he already talked to all those people. So, what are you talking about? Yep, everybody knew. Like my friend from the prosecutor's office, he's only a police officer, a higher one, but he can only, um, he can't ask you to stay quiet. He doesn't have that kind of authority. He was just bullying you. Oh, I talked to an attorney yesterday. Okay. A divorce attorney, that also is a criminal attorney. I told him from the money disappearing from the safe, uh, comes on my life, up to calling the FBI and then that guy being there. Uh -huh. And all the horrible way he talked to me. And um, I said my friend from the prosecutor's office said he can't bully you into false statements. He's like, he can't. I said, and um, he, how he made fun of me for that Pete. He's like, who is that Pete anyways? I said, I found out my ex-husband's girlfriend's dad. He said, he can't be in your home. He can't want you. He can't be hired to. Exactly. Like Officer Reinhardt Louisville, the Portage County Sheriff's, the Ravenna Police. Nobody had a right in my home before. It's the Fourth Amendment. Right? He couldn't, he couldn't watch you. And I told him about sick, being sick, throwing up, heart racing, almost passing out, giant bruises, and infected. And I said, they're supposed to be roofing me. He said, I've heard about those roofies. I said, we were sleepwalking. You don't remember? I said, I never even talked to these people. I said, do you talk about scary shit? I said, I thought I had cancer. I'm going to the doctor. I don't even know where these marks come from. I said, I was getting, I told him how to be outside working, be fine, come in and wash my hands, eat. Uh, wash my hands, make something to eat and drink, go in and use the bathroom, come out, take a drink in the room and get dizzy. And it's like, whoa, did I work too hard? I said, and everybody thought that was it and that I was bruising too easy and I had giant bruises everywhere. Then I said, we went, you know, I started getting a personal infection. I had all the signs of being drunk, being raped. And because I never talked to anybody and I've never seen anybody, nobody was putting that a sexual predator was drug beating raping me. So he drug me up and told me to say a weird with stuff and all kinds of stuff. I never talked to him. He said, I can't do this. He couldn't even watch you. This like everybody else said. It's not admissible. I can't even look at it. And, that alone, and that's why the drug cartel has laughed. That they fooled everybody because they photoshopped washing, I've heard. I told them about that. And they're supposed to roofie me where I had all those marks and sick. That they're supposed to have dragged me and told me to say I was a weirdo. I got witnesses on my phone. And of knowing of it because they make fun of me in front of people. He's like, they can't do that. And I told him how that agent made fun of me for that uh, sexual predator stalking me. He's like, he can't do that. And I told him how he bullied me into false statements. He cannot do that. And uh, how he opened the informant program with money and immunity. And even when you tell him da 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 da. And I meant to know wrong doing, I'll take care of everything in the end. And then threatened to list me crazy if I told. I said, he already admitted he had that. I explained the Vegas how it was a medication here. Uh, that Strange made it up when I thought I caught his son in adultery. It's a baby lie. And I explained to him what was wrong with me real quick. And they just want to kill someone. And they're just making up excuses to kill people. And uh, how he was the police department that seen him tell on me before. 
And he confessed he, on a recorded line. He had those church people in there. I said, he was screaming at me like crazy. And he's like, he can't do that. And I said, but he opened a real case with statements. Had an officer talk to Dave the next day, even though he was seen with him. My case started. I said, that's where the Stark County Sheriff's Department to working at some of the camp police and other police departments. North Canton Police. Hartville's mentioned it. Other departments. The uniform. Okay. And I said, and then he told me, uh, if I try to tell someone, it looks me crazy. He said he can't even ask. I said, my, he said he can't do that. I said, my friend from the prosecutor's office that worked there said he's only hired a police officer. He don't even have the authority to ask you to stay quiet. He said he doesn't. He can't ask you to stay quiet about anything. He is only a hired police uh, police officer. He don't have that kind of authority. He was he was only bullying you. He's been scamming all these people that he could actually do it. He's scamming. Scamming while he's stealing from victims. I want people to start thinking of a bunch of cops going into a big drug bust. And there's hundreds of thousands of dollars sitting around in bags. Bags of all kinds of drugs worth tons of money. He walks up and sticks it in his coat. And walks out. Everybody be glad when he got busted, right? This is worse. That dirty cop is setting up victims' funds, their money, and then he's stealing from the victims. And then feeding them back to the enemy. That's how dirty he is. And he's taking payoffs. Where my, I told him my friend from the prosecutor's office said Stark County has a problem with people taking back doors deals, letting people be victimized and killed. And I showed him where the cartel paid off a sheriff in Ohio. And I said, and I told him where he, in stores are admitting that he took a payoff and admitting he stole my money. And more than once. Hmm? So, everybody, you know where they talk well, they pay people not to tell on them. If you don't tell on them, you are harboring fugitives. If you don't tell on them, you're aiding and abetting child molesting. These people are human traffickers. Human traffickers sell people, women and children, to be sex slaves and to be murdered. And they butcher them into pieces and come back and get more. Hmm? Thousands have been taken this year from Ohio. Thousands. So if you don't open your mouth and you know anything about these people, what are you? You are a child molester. You are a serial killer. And you're helping them and you're aiding and abetting them. Hmm? You can go to jail for their crimes that you're helping them out, cover them up. You're an accessory to their crimes. Go online, Department of Justice, submit a complaint down to human, drop down to human trafficking, online tip. Go on CIA, tell them. Hmm? Go on and um, the NSA, go on ICE. It's a Mexican drug cartel. Do you know what happened when the Mexican drug cartel took over parts of California? Hmm? Not only did people get human trafficked, drugs went up. What else happened? Drive-by shootings eventually, home invasions, and it wasn't even livable. Do you know what's happened in different cities that they've been taking over there? Big businesses that even had to move out because they're breaking and rob them. Now, they want this area. And they think these people are so stupid. They could literally kill somebody in front of them and hand them 20 bucks and not to tell on them and they wouldn't. Hmm? They could slaughter you right in front of somebody and hand them 20 bucks. Shut up. Like they're such mindless boobs. They'll say, okay. Now that agent, like yesterday after I got done talking to that attorney and I had told them how horrible those agents talked to me. Okay, I had went out to work my second job. Um, my client wanted donuts. So 
I ran into the store real quick and grabbed some donuts for him. Come back out and some ladies are walking in. Okay. And um, they said we listened to her while we were driving by. How horrible those two guys talked to her. I know. Will and John are supposed to be driving around trying to keep her safe. And they're the ones out there yelling she's weird with herself. Going along with that guy photoshopping that stuff. They knew better. To ever go along with even to mention anything to that. Than what that man would have done to her. And they're out there feeding this. Or, or helping out in this. And uh, they only offered him 5000 a month to be a part of all this. Well it was supposed to be for Dave and the churches. Get information. I didn't know I was facing a drug cartel. That's a whole different ball game, lady. Well, and they were pissed. Can you imagine them talking to her like that? Oh, they were pissed. And let alone making fun of that guy photoshopping that kind of stuff and mocking her for it. And they only offered her 5000 a month to be part of all this. I didn't know it was all this, honey. And they stole my money. And they're helping and aiding and betting the child molesters. And the child molesters are paying it. Bregan, they paid them off. And that's why my ex-husband fled the country. And he said he's never coming back. Okay? He don't want to go to jail for this. Like I said, the police, even out of this area, that agent can't bully you in a false statement. That retired judge couldn't be in your home. He can't ask you to stay quiet. And now I've got the prosecutor's office and a criminal attorney. So where they lie to these low lies, they got an attorney involved. Do they have an attorney? No. It's another drug cartel person. Just like they were fake FBI agents. Those agents opened a real case with statements. Have the police watch me, the sheriffs. Are you interested in working Karen around the house? What's that? One of us have to watch or listen to her every day. Or they call it Karen's will. Huh? FBI informant. Hmm? Officers in uniform admit to working it. Huh? And watching me. See, it's been the police taking care of all this. They opened that case and embezzled the money. I like my money want to get to a safe place I actually want to use it to help my grandchildren help my children and then get to a new safe place probably need a new name a new ID an unbugged phone and car from the mafia do you know this was priceless to them do you realize the drug cart Mexican drug cartel have an FBI technology <laughs> listening through cell phones car speakers watching somebody in their home and then selling it Running this kind of big scams off people. And then getting a hold of the FBI technology that possibly they could try to hack into their databases. Get more. This was priceless. That alone is worth millions. Without all the people they sold and the drugs. Everybody turn them in. They're just killing people here. Like they told Davis. Just a real life case of how to get away with murder. March 1st to 15 and 19. 5 to 10 o'clock at night in a weekly bugged house. They're just killing people. And when you realize they paid those agents like they did the sheriff $100,000 to look the other way, they, they probably both got a hundred grand to let people die. Start getting mad at those dirty cops like they said, like that attorney said, they are just hire police officers only. They don't have authority to do any of this. Huh? Only thing legal, like my friend from the prosecutor's office, only thing legal that agent did was list you informant with money and immunity. And as far as the FBI, they can never legally drop you. Once the government agrees to protect you, they cannot unprotect you. They can put you in another witness protection program, but they have to speak to you first. And they can never ask you to stay quiet. They don't have that kind of authority. They're just higher police officers. And now a criminal attorney has backed it up too. And other police departments. See, those agents are defrauding people, thinking they can do all this and steal from victims. And people think it's funny, they're dirty cops. They don't have this kind of authority, and they're just stealing from victim funds. 
Since when is it funny that a police officer would steal from a victim? It's not. Let alone let a Mexican foreign drug cartel take over any part of the United States for a payoff and let U.S. citizens be killed at any cost. 